YouTubers, welcome to David and Nico's Haunted Kitchen. Today we're going to make glow-in-the-dark cupcakes. So join us if you dare. To make our glow-in-the-dark cupcakes, you are going to need some butter, shortening, powdered sugar, jello of whatever flavor and color that you would like, a clear vanilla extract. This is an imitation vanilla extract that I actually found at the grocery store. If you really want to use a pure vanilla extract, I believe Wilton makes one. Then you're going to need tonic water. You can find this at your grocery store, your liquor store. This is safe for kids and adults. If you were on medication of any kind, then I would suggest that you might want to check to be sure tonic water is safe for you. But otherwise, this is safe for anybody. And of course, you're going to need cupcakes. These are devil's food, appropriate for Halloween. You can also do the same process with an entire cake. So if you would like to do a whole cake, like a 9 by 13 Halloween cake, this will be able to do it. And you're also going to need a black light. You should be able to find these on eBay, Amazon, relatively cheaply if you don't have one already. Uh, unfortunately, I hate to say this, but uh, I actually had this one uh, when I was a teenager, and I found it in a box. So, you'll need a black light. Let's go ahead and get started. I set up my stand mixer with the beading attachment. You can also use a hand mixer. And in the bowl, I've added a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of shortening. Now I'm going to beat this until it's light and fluffy about five minutes or so. My butter and shortening has been creamed well. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of the clear vanilla extract. Remember we're using clear vanilla extract. We want to keep this as light in color as possible. Now I'm going to add five tablespoons of chilled tonic water. Now I'm just going to mix this up. And then we're going to start adding our powdered sugar. We're going to add enough to get this smooth and spreadable. This buttercream will crust and it is pipeable so you can decorate your cake and cupcakes with it with a piping bag. Added about six cups of powdered sugar and it's a nice consistency. I am going to add just a little bit of green food coloring. It's optional to color it. If you are going to add color, do not make it too dark. You want to leave the frosting a light shade. So I'm just going to add a few drops just to kind of give it a ghostly green effect. Our frosting is complete now that I've added a little green food coloring. Now we're just going to go ahead and frost the cupcakes or your cake just as you normally would. If you want to pipe this on to your cake or cupcakes, it will work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll go with the next step. I got my cupcakes frosted. I just did a quick little piping on top of them. Now we're going to put them in the freezer and we want the buttercream to get really hard for the next step. I'm going to do that and we'll continue. In this bowl I've got my Jello mix. I am using an orange Jello. I just love orange and chocolate and I think the orange will be great with my Devil's Food cupcakes you want to add one cup of boiling tonic water. The tonic water is what gives the cupcakes their glow. You just want to stir this up until all the jello is dissolved. Now that my jello is dissolved, I'm going to add one cup of cold tonic water. We'll stir all that until it's combined and then we're just going to let it set until it gets to room temperature or you can put this over an ice bath to do it faster but you don't want it to harden. We'll let this set and cool down and then we'll show you the next step. A Jello's room temperature. Now take the cupcakes out a couple at a time and we're going to use a pastry brush 
to brush the jello onto the cupcakes. You want to put a generous amount on. You want to make sure that you cover the entire frosting. We're going to put these back in the freezer uh, for about 10 or 15 minutes while I finish up the others and then we're going to put a second coat on and decorate them. My cupcakes have been in the freezer for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put another coating of the Jello mix and then we're going to decorate the cupcakes. You can leave them out after this coat so that the frosting softens up just a little bit so that you can decorate them. I'm going to decorate mine with Peeps. I got these little pumpkin ones. Peeps are great for decorating cakes and cupcakes. Who doesn't like Peeps? Who doesn't like a great tasting marshmallow? I'm going to use that. And then I found these. These are sour gummy glow worms. They're by a company called Black Forest. I put a link in the description to their website. They're kind of neon colored, so they look really cool. Uh, with the glowing effect of the cupcakes. I'm going to do that and show you what they look like when we're done. This is what my decorated cupcakes are going to look like. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator until the jello on top is firm. Then we're going to put them under the black light and watch them glow. Here's what the cupcakes look like when they glow in the dark under the black light. I covered this cupcake completely with icing and some of the jello mixture just so you get a good picture of how it glows when you put the black light to it. We hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make glow in the dark cupcakes. Please join our channel and I hope we'll see you soon.